Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the YouTube channel of JJ Pro Reviews. So today, I will be taking a look at the Transformers Robots in Disguise 2015 Warrior Class Autobot Storm Shot. This is actually one of my favorite Warrior Class figures in the whole overall toy line. So let's get down to the review table and see what the big deal is for this figure. So let's get it on, man. Let's go. And here is Stormshot fully transformed into his jet mode and I do quite like this jet mode, really really cool looking jet mode, I will say. And uh, nice red and blues and the whites going all around, he's, he's actually fully painted, really really cool. You got the uh, nice blue paint for the, uh, the cockpit section right here, which is pretty cool, got some nice reds going down this section and got the Autobot symbols on the wings you don't get like uh, you don't get these symbols on a lot of these uh, on these figures because you don't you only get the Autobot symbols and the Decepticon symbols on the uh, the scanning badge right there but you don't yeah <laughs> at least Stormshot has these Autobot symbols on his jet mode which is pretty pretty cool I do quite like that really nice and nice metal flake finish right here on the plastic which is pretty pretty cool I do quite like that got some nice red on the uh, the tail fins Right here, um, the thrusters, they're molded into place, um, they're, they're, they're nice, but they're nicely molded, but you know, I, I kind of wish they painted it silver, which is, it would have been nice if they painted it silver, but eh, well, it is what it is, it's okay, and you can see the whole robot <laughs> underneath the jet, so it's basically a robot under a jet. So, yeah, you got a visible head, visible chest, visible legs, visible arms, <laughs> and you got the flip flip up lift flip down landing gear which is pretty cool you can actually flip it up flip it down if you want to so that's pretty pretty nice pretty pretty nice so. so now let's move on to some size comparisons here is storm shot compared to the warrior class optimus prime with the warrior class steel jaw with the warrior class grimlock with the lord megatronus with the warrior class scorpionock and just because with the Minicon Deployer Overload. So that is pretty much it for the ultimate comparisons. Now, if you ask yourself, does Stormshot come with any other accessories? Oh yes, he does. He does include these two guns. He's got this big, he's got this big freaking gun right here. <laughs> this is pretty cool, really nicely molded. Wish. I wish, it would, I wish it would have been painted, but it is what it is, it's okay, you know, it's a lack of paint on the guns, it's alright, it's done in black plastic anyway. And you got this little tiny gun, which is pretty cool, I quite like that. You got, the, uh, you got two ports right here, so you can actually take these two guns and just plug them together and just combine them and make one big gun. So that's pretty cool, I do quite like that, really, really like that. So you can actually plug this like on the top of the jet like that. If you really, really want to, hey, it's a thing you can do. Or there is a port underneath here, so you can actually take this and just plug that in and <laughs> make it a long nose or something. I don't know, but but you can actually take these two guns and just plug them under the, under the wings because there there are ports underneath the wings, so you can actually plug this right here on the side like that and plug it, plug this gun on the other side and. There you have that. So that's that's for storage in the jet mode. So that's pretty cool. I do quite like the uh, the options there for the weapon storage. But anyway, so let us transform Stormshot into his robot mode. So first thing we want to do is just take the weapons and put it off to the side, and we shall get started. So it's a very easy transformation. So the first step is to flip up the landing gear, and there we go. Just untab the arms from these tabs right here. Just untab the arms, just like that untab the arms and you can actually flip out the hands right now just flip out the hands flip out the hands and there you go so now you want to bring down these panels bring down these panels and this is like a combiner wars transformation <laughs> just extend the legs extend the legs and there are tabs on these knees and there are slots right inside so just make sure you line the tabs and the slots together you will tab together and just Split the legs, split the legs, and there we go. And this one is not lined up properly. It's not lined up properly, there we go. And now you want to flip up the feet, flip up the feet, and there you have that. But are you done yet? No, we're not done yet. So you want to untab this section right here, and just bring this down, and just take this section and just swing it around, and there is a tab, we'll tab into the slots right there. Just 
tab it right there and just bring this up just tab all of this into place and there you have this backpack all done and I do quite like that uh, trick of transformation I, I do quite like this that's pretty cool so and I think we are pretty much done are we done yes we are done so there you have storm shot fully transformed into his real boss mode and he looks pretty good I do quite like I do quite like this robot mode really really cool I like the design really really nice um, it would have been nice if they included him into the show but it is what it is it's okay it's fine but anyway so let's get in closer we can take a look at that beautiful beautiful looking head sculpt I love his head sculpt really really cool and I do quite like the silver paint on the mouth right there got the red for the visor red for the forehead right there and then some white for the head crest which is really really cool so yeah he does have some nice paint on the head it's got nice paint on the chest as well and got the uh, the Autobot symbol right there for the uh, the scanning badge so if you want to scan it go ahead and free scan on me go ahead just just scan it if you have the game um, so yeah pretty cool I really nice I remember I really nice I really like the design really really cool you got some nice uh, <clears throat> some nice black or nah, no dark gray paint on the uh, on the belly section right there which is pretty cool red and some blues yeah he's very nicely painted all around um, would have been nice if his shoulders were painted but it's okay it is what it is but yeah really nicely done really cool and I like how his backpack transforms and I like how it's like nice and neat you know very very clean so yeah very clean transformation overall really nice so yeah so the articulation on this guy um, his head is on a swivel so you can actually uh, rotate his head around but it's kind of it's kind of tight on mine <sighs> very very tight <clears throat> yeah very very tight <laughs> very tight uh, swivel on the head movements but hey the head can actually turn around that's pretty cool and you do have this like this hinge on the shoulder so you can actually use that hinge to move it back and forth a little bit uh, the the shoulders um, if the wings weren't in the way they can, they can actually do a full 360 but the wings are in the way so they can't do a full 360 unfortunately so the arms can move in and out you do have a bicep swivel which is really really nice and you do have an elbow joint about 90 degrees of bend and you do have a like you know you can actually use the ball joint to move the uh, to rotate the shoulders around a little bit so that's pretty cool and the hands can actually move inward due to transformation they can they um, they can't rotate so no wrist swivels uh, no waist swivel unfortunately but it's fine uh, the legs can move up that far can move back only that far and you can pretty much do the full splits um, you do have a little bit of rotation up, up, up at the hip and you do have a thigh swivel which is really really nice you do have a knee joint which is about 90 degrees up bent and you can actually Put down the feet a little bit so that's pretty cool so so yeah no waist swivel no wrist swivel no ankle tilt so those are the three uh, points of articulation that he's missing but other than that he's pretty poseable he's pretty poseable but um i do have one main issue with this figure um his his knee joints are a little bit loose so do be careful <laughs> sometimes he will fall on you but so far he hasn't fallen on me so that's pretty, that's pretty good so anyway so he can definitely hold his weapons just take Two guns and just plug it into his hands like that and like that so that's pretty cool you can do that if you want to and you can do um, you can actually plug these guns back together and just have him holding one main gun so that's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna have him hold one main gun just like that and just plug it into his hands plug into his hands there we go that's pretty cool you can actually do that if you want to actually me personally I'm just gonna give him two guns I don't care I'm just gonna give him two guns that's that's all I'm gonna do let's give him two guns <laughs> so yeah I'm just gonna give him two guns and that's it so yeah anyway I mean he looks better with, with two guns in my opinion so. so anyway so let's move on to some size comparisons here is storm shot compared with the comp blah 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 so my tongue stopped working <laughs> Here he is with the Minicon Deployer Overload, so you can see how they scale with one another. He's a little bit shorter than the Decepticon Overload, but hey, I mean, he's a Warrior class, as a Minicon Deployer. Sometimes Minicon Deployers are taller than the Warrior class figure, so anyway. So, let's move on to the next size comparison.
Here is Stormshot compared with the Warrior Class Scorponok with the Mighty Lord Megatronus with the Warrior Class Steel Jaw with the Warrior Class Grimlock and with the Warrior Class Optimus Prime. So that is pretty much it for the Robots Mayor comparisons. Okay, so here are my final thoughts on the Transformers Robots in Disguise 2015 Warrior Class Storm Shot. And yeah, it's a really, really good figure in my opinion. Really nice robot mode and jet mode looks good as well. Although you can see the whole robot under the jet. But hey, it's all, you know, you know, the jet formers always, you know, have the robot underneath it. But hey, it is what it is, you know. He still looks good overall and uh, nicely painted all around. Nice red, some nice blue, some nice white. And he's very patriotic. Really cool. I really like that. Yeah, and nice that he has the Autobot symbols on the wings. Which is pretty, pretty nice. Really, really cool. And the head sculpt. I love his head sculpt. I really, really dig that head sculpt. Really, really cool. And uh, yeah, uh, the articulation is not bad. It's just needed. He needed some ankle tilts. Um, wrist swivels. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm fine with uh, robots without a wrist swivel. I'm fine with it. But the only thing that I really needed, uh, you know, blah, 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 blah. again, my tongue stopped working. <laughs> I really don't like my tongue sometimes. But anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, um, the only articulation that he needed was the ankle tilts. You know, that's the extra bit of articulation that he needed so bad. But other than that, really, really nicely done. Really nicely articulated as well, so that's pretty cool. So, And the transformation is nice and smooth. I really like the transformation, uh, especially the backpack. I really like how the backpack comes together, which is pretty cool. So, uh, yeah. So... As far as ranking Storm Shot from a scale of 1 to 10, I think I'll just give him a good 9 out of 10. So yeah, he definitely needed the ankle tilt and, you know, some extra bits of paint on the shoulders. You know, just a little bit more paint, but hey, it is what it is. 9 out of 10, still a great figure nonetheless. So. And I think that's pretty much it for today's video review. So ladies and gentlemen, if you're completely new to the channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. And while you're at it, click that notification bell icon down below as well, so that you know when my new so that you know when my new videos are up and ready. And you can always check out my Robots in Disguise 2015 reviews playlist for any videos you may have missed. So I'll post the link. I'll post the link to that playlist. In the, in the description down below and you can always follow me on Instagram follow me on Twitter so I'll post the I'll post the links in the description down below as well and for your other Transformers needs you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for any availability for other figures so I'll post the link I'll post the link to that website in the description down below as well so and I think that's pretty much it for me to say so there you have the Transformers robots in disguise 2015 Warrior Class Storm Shot, and this is JJ Prime signing off. Peace out.